this is the book Adventures of a Tractor Boy, uh, launched last week uh, on Amazon and Kindle stores. Um, passed all uh, surpassed all expectations. Broke into the top six of the um, fo football books, and also into the top two hundred of forty three million books that are on sale for for Amazon. It's subtitled. The well, Adventures of the Tractor Boy, the story of an obsessive fan. How obsessive have you been? Um, complete, completely mad from the, the first time I went along to the, to the fir first game, uh, the Leeds match in 1974. Um, queued up from the early hours of the morning and then spent 90 minutes looking at someone's shoulders and someone's head and listening to the, the crowd noises. Um, but I was hooked, hooked from that day on. Um, ever since I've done some completely mad things. I've been down the pub on a Friday night playing darts, chatting to my mates, what are you up to this weekend? Nothing. Do you fancy watching Ipswich? Yeah, we'll, we'll go along to that. Where are they playing this weekend? And it was Drew Jarvis testimonial up at Aberdeen. So we left the pub at 11. We were having a fry up at the service station on the fourth road bridge about half past eight the following morning and we got up and watched that. I've also been to uh, Ibrox, been as far as I'm aware the only fan amongst 43,000 the year after we won the UEFA Cup and watched Mitch Davre score the winner when we won 1-0 at Glasgow Rangers. My first year at work was uh, following the UEFA Cup run from St Etienne to Cologne and that out to Amsterdam and had all sorts of adventures ever since. So I, I just had the idea that I wanted to write a book. I started about 10 or 11 years ago drafting it up so my memories were relatively fre fresh at that time. It never really came to anything at that time and um, tied in with my ambition to raise some funds for the Colchester Special Care Baby Unit. I re-looked at the project at the end of last year. How could I bring it up to date succinctly because being married and with children now the adventures aren't quite as exciting as they were all those many years ago. I was pleased with the end result and man managed to get the book published. What's, what's the hairiest moment that you've had following Ipswich Town? Um, the the hairiest moment, well, pro probably one of them is coming back from the the um, one of the pre-season tours in Scandinavia when um, everything was planned meticulously because that's it. it's in my line as a software test engineer. Everything's methodical and planned out, and I'd got everything down to the minutes and the hours. And we departed um, from Gothenburg. I think it was about six six o'clock on the uh, uh, five or six o'clock on the sun Sunday evening and we were due, due back into Harwich the following day, 24 hours later, and we got to be at Portman Road for George Burley's testimonial on the Monday evening against Aberdeen. And we were so so late, we, we got to Portman Road with about 15 minutes to spare, didn't even have time to call in at home in Dover Court on the way. So these adventures and many more are in your book. Yeah. How can people get hold of it? Um, basically, it's available on Amazon or the Kindle store, and it's also available from Greetings and Gifts at uh, the High Street in Manning Tree as well, if someone wants to buy it for, from a High Street store. And the price? Uh, six, £6.99, although it has temporarily reduced to £6.64 on Amazon because it's been selling so many this week. And the proceeds go, remind us again, and why? Uh, all to the Colchester Special Care Baby Unit uh, as thanks for the way they looked after my daughter eight years ago.